Hey guys, this is uh, Hayden from Madden Hayden, and I've decided to do a slower TeamSpeak 3 uh, bot tutorial because I got a lot of comments saying that the one I made was a little bit too fast and it didn't cover enough aspects. Main reason is because I try to make a, I try to make my videos five minutes, maybe a little bit over, maybe a little less, uh, because the my download speed isn't the best and it's not the best right now. But uh, I mean, I plan on. I plan on getting better download speed or just better inter better in bandwidth for my. Just, I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Just better bandwidth in general. Um, well, I mean, I guess let's let's just go ahead and go on with the tutorial. Um, same thing with the old tutorial. You want to download Virtual Audio Cable 4.10 VAC 410 Full. Here's the folder you're gonna get. You're gonna want to open that up. And you're going to have everything inside here. Everything's going to look the exact same. I haven't added or taken away anything inside here. So it should look the exact same as this. Here's the architecture folders, which are going to have the setup, or the setup.exe. Now, x64 is if you have a 64-bit architecture for your OS. And x86 is if you have a 64-bit architecture. I mean, I'm sorry. I take that back. x86 is if you have a 32-bit architecture for your OS x64 is if you have a 64-bit architecture and how you want to tell that well you can't really see it right now uh, because my taskbar is on my other screen if you click on the start button you go to computer you right click and you go down to properties you'll have this window pop up and I'm, you'll notice I'm on my laptop because it's not not a very good laptop but you'll see let's see somewhere around here uh, under system you'll see system type 64-bit operating system and that'll let you know if you need to get the 64-bit or the 32-bit and by 64 64-bit or 32-bit I mean x64 is being the 64-bit and x86 is being the 32-bit so this will tell you which one you need to get right here go ahead and exit out of that after you go into the folder I would go into x64 because I have a 64-bit architecture you would want to run oh <laughs> You wanna if you have a 64-bit, you have to run this one, which is setup 64, and you just have a, if you have a 32-bit, you'll run the setup.exe, and these folders house uh, just different things you'll need to use. The VCCTL pl uh, pan.exe is a little control panel for you to create and uh, change the settings for any audio lines that you have, the uh, cable one, two, and three, and these will show up inside of your audio devices, and. Um, you have these repeaters, which will just repeat sound from one device to another. Um, you don't really use them that often. But I'm going to go ahead next out of this and show you how to actually set it up. So let me go ahead and drag TeamSpeak over here. Uh, make it full screen so it's really easy to see. And now what you're going to do is, I mean, let me disconnect my bot here. Buddy disconnected from your channel. Now I'm in here. Sound disconnect needed. my sound just in case someone joins. You want to go to Identities. And you're going to want to create a new identity just for your bot. And by doing that, you click on Add. I'm just going to do this for an example. And you would change the nickname to, say, Bot. And the new identity to whatever you want, which is I would change it to Bot. That makes it easy to keep up with. And you would just create it. But for the sake of... That was just for the sake of uh, showing an example. I already have one right here. And then you want to go to your settings, options. Once you go to options, you're gonna you're only want to focus on playback and capture. You can go ahead and ignore all of this and all of this below these two. So you want to go to playback, and you want to click on this plus button. And whenever you click on this plus button, you want to make sure that default settings is selected, and you want to change the profile name to bot or whatever or whatever else you see fit. I already have something called bot. And once you have that, you want to click on bot, and you want to have these settings right here, but you don't want to have line two. You will probably want to have line one selected. Now I have line two selected from for some odd reason, um, but you'll want to have line one selected as your playback device. For your playback mode, you want to select automatically use best mode unless you have to do something otherwise, then select automatically use best mode. Now for your voice volume adjustment, you want to put quiet all the way down to negative 40. For your sound pack, you want to put negative 40 so you don't get people talking as an echo and you don't get your, uh, you know, the users joined your channel, stuff like that. Those, um, you don't want to get those audio alerts. Uh, you'll get an echo as well. So go ahead and set that to negative 40 on both. 
Uh, you can mess with this, change it to whatever you want to. Make sure you hit apply. Go to capture. Go to bot. Of course, you're going to do the same thing. Create a new profile. Call it bot. Call it whatever you want. And you're going to... Wait. I'm sorry about this. Take back the... Um, for the bot, I had it set for line 2 for a reason. Uh, make sure that this isn't set as line 1 or it will it will play back what it hears. So what you want to do is set the playback device as a device that you do not use. I'm sorry uh, if this is confusing any of you guys, but you want to set your playback device for your playback profile or your your bot profile and your playback your playback you want to set the playback de device for your bot profile to a playback device that you do not use and that's why I had it as line 2 because uh, line 2 I don't ever use it for anything and it's never it doesn't have any audio going through it so my bot will not get any useless noises and play them back now for your capture profile for your bot uh, you can set it either as voice activation detection and then you know set this all the way down or you can just have on continuous transmission in which the it's always activated no matter what for some reason uh, I just have it on voice activation detection and I put the sensitivity all the way down make sure your capture device is line one and you can mess with these settings but for uh, best quality you probably will not have to make sure you apply that I don't need to of course and now connect in the bot you want to the, of course this is what I did if you already have a book if you already have like a bookmark of your um of the of team Street server that you join usually what you can do is um I have Russia here so what I did was is if you right click on it you can go to duplicate and of course after I duplicated that I just did Russia and then I just made like a bot thing so I know it's my bookmark for my bot and uh, that was just for the safe, sake of example I'm gonna delete that and now this is the bookmark settings that I have for my bot bookmark I have the nickname set as that right now I thought that'd be pretty funny I'm gonna go ahead and set that as Hayden's bot now I have the server password uh, anything you might need now this is the thing you want to make sure of uh, make sure that the identity of your bot is your bot identity I have it on line one but make sure that the, the identity of your bot is a separate identity to that of your default one or it will think that you're trying to connect to the TeamSpeak server twice with the same identity and of course that will not work now for your capture profile also if you don't get all these settings right here there's a button that says more and then the, it'll say less but uh, make sure you click on more so that you see all these settings make sure the capture profile is your bot pro, uh, capture profile make sure that the playback profile is your bot playback profile and then uh, of course you want to apply those settings so after you've done that now uh, here's another thing that is kind of important whenever you go to your bookmark you want to right click on your bookmark and put or click on connect a new tab if you don't do this uh, it will disconnect you and you will connect as your bot if you connect a new tab it will connect your bot in a new tab which is exactly how it sounds so here's my bot I'm gonna go ahead and join the channel and so my audio devices sounds are so. completely um, completely I guess independent from my bot so my bots microphone is active and my microphone is active and my bot has a different playback uh, device from that of mine so there's no conflict whatsoever um, and so now for me playing some music, go ahead and go over here, and I want to open Winamp. Move TeamSpeak over here just for a sec. And now I'm not going to show how to do it for Windows Media Player because I've I've never used it for Windows Media Player, uh, and also I've never really liked the quality. I think that you get better quality whenever you use Winamp. So. If you don't have Winamp, I suggest getting it. It's a really good media. It's a really good media or just media thing in general, and I've always liked it. So here I'm gonna play some music. Okay, and Winamp, you wanna go to Options, Preferences. Make sure uh, you go to Plugins and then you go to Output. Make sure this is selected Nullsoft Direct Sound Output. Go to Configure, and then change or make sure you're on the device tab and then change this to line one hit apply okay close let me choose what I want to play I'll play some music real quick
Of course, everything works. All the settings in WinApp works. Obviously, the volume does. I'm changing the volume. Here's my EQ. My EQ is, uh, sounds pretty good. I think I might just, just might leave this playing in the background. Uh, it'll probably go over my voice. I really want you guys to hear me, so, uh... I guess I'll just play it for a little bit longer. I mean, I meant for this tutorial to be longer anyways. You can hear that, um, that kind of, like, digital sound, like a, uh, kind of like it's going out. And that's because of the, uh, my bandwidth. It's not very good. So, uh, whenever I'm uploading the sound, I'm losing packets on TeamSpeak because my upload speed is very poor. So, the quality is going to reflect that. Let me go ahead and change my channel audio back to its normal channel audio codec. Channel edited. Okay. Now, y'all had a question on playing music through YouTube, so I'm going to try to show you guys that as well. I'm just trying to get this so that it's half and half. Now, this is what I do. Uh, of course, you guys can't see it. What did I get? Oh. Um, you want to go to your Windows taskbar, and you guys can't see this, which just really sucks, because uh, I meant to use my main screen for recording because it's a lot bigger and I have a lot more space. But you want to go to the, your little sound thing. You want to go to your um, playback devices. Now you can see here in TeamSpeak for my default playback device I directly have it to my headset earphones. I don't have it on default. If you have it on default it will not work. Make sure that your audio device for your default playback device for your regular identity is what you always use or what you uh, like if you use speakers then I would put my speakers but right now I'm wearing my headset so make sure that it's going directly through your headset uh, because if it's on default then it'll play um, then you'll hear everything that's coming out of what you put here. Uh, which is that's not how it's supposed to be set up. So my playback device on my default profile is my headset earphone And now you want to set your default playback device on Windows to line one So any noise that comes through Windows is going to go into line one Which is the recording device for my bot which means that that noise is going to go through my bot and I'll be able to hear it but since I'm using my headphones and not line one directly inside TeamSpeak, it won't interfere with uh, any sounds. Like I won't get an echo, and I won't. Uh, there won't be any inter interference with the devices. So that means I should be able to go to YouTube and play a video, and it should play through my bot. The only downside to this is that if you have your Windows device set as line one, and you just so happen to disconnect your bot from TeamSpeak, you'll have to make sure to remember to set your playback device back to your regular playback device or default, or else you won't be able to hear any sound because you can't hear line one. Uh, let me find a video here. I'm really trying to do this without making without doing anything copyright. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just play. I really have no idea. Uh, what's a good song? A good song. Something that's not copyright. Huh. I'll be back in just a second, guys. I'm going to ponder this for a second. Um, sorry. Uh, I really, I just don't know. I just want to make sure I'm not going to break any rules. It looks like I had to get direct. So, um... Here's a uh, top five non copyrighted dubstep songs. And of course, it's playing through my bot in TeamSpeak, as you can see. Now, playing music through uh, YouTube into TeamSpeak may make the quality lack a little bit because you're downloading a YouTube video and uploading the audio at the same time. 
so there might be some problems. There's also a little bit of a delay if you're streaming music because it has to wait to download and wait to upload. So it's not really it's not really reliable if you're trying to stream like maybe a a movie. Just the movie audio, of course. Alright guys, um, can't really think of anything else to do in this tutorial. Um, I've posted most of the problems that you guys have been having, I've tried to reply to. Um, so, I mean, some of the problems I've never even experienced for myself, so there's no way I could ever help you because I've never even had that problem. The only thing I can do is kind of just like assume what's happening and try to give you some advice. But other than that, I, I kind of just rely on some of the YouTube community to try to help out and comment and help people out on that too. Um, but if there is a problem, and I've had it before, which I've had most of the problems that you could have with VAC, um, I, I could usually help, so no problem there. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. This is probably going to be around 15 minutes long. No problem, though. Uh, it's for you guys. I um, uh, hope you guys actually got it to work. If not, post in the comments. I'll see the notification. I'll help you guys out. Um, bye, guys. Just uh, check out some of those other videos we have. Uh, I know some of them aren't really that good, but uh, just see what you like. Check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.